Alright guys, welcome to another sweet, I think it's like the 13th tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to style this home button right here. Now, these notification icons are different than this home button right here because this is more like um, a regular button, except that you use an image instead of text. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this for a single button, and then once you learn this, you can use it for, you know, however many buttons you want. So the first thing we want to do is say footer menu and I'm going to make a class called home button. Now this right here what I'm going to style is this entire section and isn't this little home icon or the image itself it's the entire button square section. So the first thing I want to do is set padding. Now the padding of this you want to set it similar to your text but it's really dependent on how big your icon is or that little house or whatever you use for your home icon mine is 5 pixels 8 pixels 0 pixels and 14 pixels pretty much whatever fits um you know make sure you get the height of your footer and then whatever fits to pad your image nicely do that now for the border you're going to set it to none and the background set this equal to none. So right now we pretty much padded our image in there nicely but if in case you didn't notice we didn't even um, have the image itself applied to the footer yet so let's go ahead and learn how to do that now. We pretty much just made a section so what we can do is actually copy this so right now we made an area where the button would go and that button is actually going to be a link to the home page so A now whenever we make this in uh, the HTML file you know how you typically make a link like this a a and then you put crap in here and that's the text that displays well we actually are not gonna have any of that text however whenever we um, show this we want the image to show so how do we do that well whenever you want to do that all you need to do is you need to set the background of the link to a URL. Now the URL you can go ahead hold on ear itching there we go. If you just want to play around you can actually use a full URL like HTTP and get an image from the internet but if you have one on your local computer just go ahead and put um, you know a path to that so image home dot ping is the name of my image right here and you also want to put it in the top left no repeat now something like your um, background this entire thing you may have tiles to repeat for this you do not and actually make sure to get rid of that semicolon so that is how you use an image on your button right there and the reason that you want to put this in the top left is because you already padded exactly where you want your button to go so instead of positioning this inside the button just pad your button to fit your image and then whenever you want to move it around just change the padding it's very simple now the next thing we want to do is we want to set the width and the height for the link so the width and again this also depends on your image pixels and the height 30 pixels now we want to do this because browsers aren't really used to using images as links so what you want to do is you want to give it the specific height and width so actually width and height in this case so it knows what the heck is going on and it doesn't mess everything up this is like insurance to ensure that your image displays properly now the next thing we want to do is we want to set on hover what's going to happen whenever you hover over this section well what we want to do and let me just steal some crap from here and this is pretty much just housekeeping and also some other cool stuff so whenever we hover over this image area the first thing that we want to do is make sure the backgrounds none now I'm gonna put this in here even though um, you know I'm just I don't want to change background none and then make it dynamically change the background none it has no effect I'm putting this in here in case any of you guys want to you know make the background a little bit darker this is where you change it right here now I'm gonna tell you guys this the reason that I don't like to make the background darker is because when you see you don't click on the area itself you need to click on the image in order 
to go you know to the home page or whatever so that's why on the buttons I like to make the area darker because it has some effect it makes a pop-up menu appear but on this one you just can't hover over um, you know the button you need to actually go and click the link so I just think it makes um, it's just a little annoying thing a little subtle thing that makes your web page a little bit better for the user better user experience that's what it's all about now what I would like to do is make this image glow on hover so there are a couple ways that we can do this I already have another image and I'm gonna show you guys two different ways where you can make the image glow so first of all this gets changed to whenever you hover over the link which is basically the image itself what you want to do is you can change it from home to home to and I have two image files this home right here is like gray like CCC CCC and this is pure white so whenever you hover over it like this that makes it appear like it's glowing can you guys see that you can also do this you can also set the opacity to 50 percent by default and whenever you hover over it change the opacity of your image to 100 percent and that has another cool effect it, it makes your button kind of transparent and then when you hover over it, it comes like full opaque so those are two different ways but if you're just beginning it's probably easier just to have a gray image and then in Photoshop or whatever paint it white and then whenever you hover over it it looks like it's glowing but anyways that is how you style the home button and in the next video we're going to be getting into all of these drop up menus so this one this one right here that one and we have you know a lot of information to cover but trust me it's worth it this is one of the coolest footers of all time but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe congratulations that you now know how to style a home button and i'll see you guys in the next video